Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, let me introduce ArcStrike. ArcStrike is an Arc Linux repository for security professionals and enthusiasts who use Arc Linux as their base operating system. It is specially optimized for i686, 64-bit architecture machines, ARM version 6 and ARM version 7 architectures. Unlike other security-oriented Linux distributions like Black Arc and Kali Linux, ArcStrike doesn't come as a standalone Linux distribution. It is a repository that has plethora of security and penetration tools. Simply put, it is a security, a penetration testing and a security layer on the top of Arc Linux and is carefully crafted for learning ethical hacking. So if you want to become a good ethical hacking, ethical hacker or you want to have great interest into ethical hacking and if you are using Arc Linux itself, so I recommend that rather than to install Black Arc or Kali Linux, you can just work on the installation of Arc Strike. So you will find plethora of security options or tools options into Arc Linux itself. So you can say that the developers are also working on an ISO image to be released as Arc Strike as a standalone uh, uh, operating system like we have Arc Linux. So Arc Strike is formerly known as Arc Assault and then renamed to Arc Strike Lipley. So in this tutorial, let me introduce you how to install Arc Linux into the security penetration system using Arc Strike. So the Arc Strike official website is arcstrike.org. You can follow all the instruction packages. And if you click on this word called packages link, packages link, so you can find all the packages details which are being installed. So you can find that more than I can say four to 500 packages will be there. So about 30 pages are there. So you can find different, different packages, names and different, different packages, Python base, uh, Zypher base, so plethora of options over there. So how to install it? Let me tell you that I've already given all these steps into my notepad and all these steps will be available downstairs in this video. So here I am having the fresh Arc Linux uh, uh, machine which I've already started uh, on my Oracle virtual box. So let me log in with a root. So root and let me give the password. So now you can see that the root has logged in. So now what we have to do is to add the repository into the pacman con file. So let us give this command that is nano space slash etc slash pacman dot conf. So before we add the following lines to the end, let me tell you to first of all activate one repository. Otherwise you will find problems into installation and crawling of the package. The, uh, the answer is called the multilib. So remove these comments. That is a hashtag. And now at the end over here, you can just press enter and you can type these lines over there. So let me type that is arc strike in brackets and over here that is server is e uh, space equal to space HTTPS slash slash mirror dot arc strike dot org slash you can find over here. Let me call this for you. So dollar arc slash dollar repo. So this you have to type into pacman.com file so that we can crawl the arc strike repository and we are able to install the packages and work into the penetration testing based repository into the arc linux. So press, so press control x y and press enter. So this we have done. So now what we have to do is to run the following commands one by one to initialize the pacman keyring and start dir manager and then import and sign the key to uh, sign the arc strike keyring packages. So we have to give these four to five commands over here. So let me clear this and now let us first of all start with the first command that is pacman minus key space minus minus init. So it has been done. So let me clear this. So give the another command in order to activate dir manager. dir manager space slash dev slash null. So dir manager at your service. It is good enough. So we are going good. So pacman minus key space minus r f32 d93 da. So it can take some time, but it will be done. So it is signing up the keys and we are importing the keys so that we were able to install the Arc Strike packages on our Arc Linux as a layer without any issues. And believe me everyone, even Kali Linux doesn't have those packages or Black Arc does, doesn't have those packages which are available into Arc Strike. So very beautiful repository. Very, very beautiful. I can say. So it can take some time. Let us wait for more seconds. 
So after this, we will be importing the signature key and then we will be updating the repository. So it is crawling. So now you can see that it has updated the trust database and it has taken me three to four minutes to import. So let us give the final command. That is pacman spa uh, minus key space minus minus l sign minus key and the same F32 D93 DA. So you can see that it has updated the trust database. Now what we have to do is to update the repository with the command pacman space minus capital S small yy. Now you can see that it is synchronizing the package databases and now after that we will be going towards arc strike packages. So it is synchronizing the core, extra, community, multilib and after that arc strike. So depending on your internet speed it can take up to less than 30 seconds or maybe one minute or two. So community is being updated. Just wait for a couple of seconds and we will be crawling the database packages of ArcStrike. Almost there. Yes, so multilib is crawled and now ArcStrike will be called. So let me again update the repository. Sometimes it may fail because of the library errors but don't you worry it can do. So till it does let me pause the video for some time. So it was just a problem with my internet so you, you can see that the arc strike repository has been crawled so let me give the command again for you to live demonstrate. So pacman space minus capital S YY. So you can, so uh, I recommend that your internet should be very much good or smooth. So this is just a basic problem. Otherwise, uh, no error in my any command. So sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't happen. So multilib is there. And now you can see that the arc strike will be there. Yes. So you can say that no changes were there but still sometimes the, the uh, file is being crawled and sometimes it is not so there is no need to worry. So let us clear this and now as the arc, arc strike repository has been installed so get so let us first of all give the command to get the list of the arc strike packages which I have already shown you on the website. So give this command pacman space minus capital S L small l arc strike. So you can see all the packages are being crawled. So let us uh, uh, view the list of the available arc strike group. That is pacman space capital S minus SG pipe grep arc strike. So you can see that the arc strike packages are being there and uh, with this I have created a layer of the penetration testing uh, repository that is arc strike on arc linux. So you can find it's a deep and a depth based library of tools. Uh, you can f you, you even not find into Kali or Black Arc. So uh, in this video I have demonstrated how to install Arc Strike on Arc Linux and I hope that you do like this video. Share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.